Hi everyone, uh, my name is Kendra. I am so excited to be here. Um, I, I, I have been watching on the sidelines, I guess, um, the things that you guys have been working on for the past month. And I feel so proud to have been a part of this um, because you guys have achieved so much in such a short time. Um, and I just, I just wanted to come and see the work that you have done. Um, I work with Microsoft on the mixed reality team as a program manager. Um, and joining me from Microsoft today are DJ, who um, some of you know, he handled the introduction to Unity session and the introduction to HoloLens emulator sessions um, workshops at the beginning of the bootcamp. Um, and also joining later is Hoop Soma, who runs the mixed reality team here in Lagos and is a huge fan of everything that the community is doing and is just always so excited to support. Um, we were, we were we're just here to today's about you. <laughs> we just we're just here to kind of participate and and support how we can and give feedback on the things that you're building um, and just basically just celebrate with you the work that you have done. Uh, I also want to just give a big thank you to the Microsoft Learning Incident Ambassador team. You guys are a different kind of amazing. Um, Jafflet, Israel, Princess, Illumide, Oma, Golisfer, all of you have put in so much work and so much time during exam period to make sure that this thing worked. Um, there's no way this would have been possible without you, and I really appreciate the work that you have done and the work that you keep doing. Um, yeah. Without much more words, I just, I just wanted to say, you know, congratulations, and let's 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 get this party started. Okay, thank you very much, Kendra. Well, we won't waste time. We'll go straight to the showcasing of the events. Is Israel around? Israel, next to you, please introduce the themes to us and let us know what the project is about. Thank you. Um, hi everyone, um, welcome once again to um, the project showcase for the Mixed Reality Bootcamp for 2021. Um, first of all, I would like to thank um, Kendra, Hoop, and DJ, and everyone from Microsoft Nigeria for their support through this. Um, they've been really, really helpful with everything from getting started to um, putting everything together, and now we're here. Okay, so um, for the boot camp, we had um, 25 participants um, who were selected for this, and um, somehow we formed four groups out of those 25 participants. And over the past four weeks, they've been working on solutions, mixed reality solutions, and um, we are here today with three solutions to showcase. So for group one, we have um, a lab simulation um, in a situation whereby, um, I'm just giving a scenario here, say in your high school, your secondary school, um, and you are being taught chemistry or physics and all that in the lab, and you don't really understand the whole thing because it's supposed to be practical. So um, this um, solution kind of um, provides um, a remedy to that whereby you can practice all these um, from the um, from the HoloLens emulator or from your HoloLens device and you can see how this solution, see how these reactions work, mix these chemicals and these and all that. So that's basically what the solution is trying to um, pose here. So um, without further ado, um, I'll let you see the uh, demo for this. Um, the team members and team leads have done a lot of work with this um, from, from goodness to Ashish to um, all the other members of the group and I'm really proud of what they have achieved here. So um, without further ado, let's um, take a look at their solution.
I think we need the team leader or group one to come up, right? Yes, please. Or a team member from group one. Just come and explain. Okay, it. anybody from group one, come and tell us what you've done in your group, the pro what the project is all about. We want to know how you guys did it and how you progressed in it, what you learned on the way, and everything about the project. Anybody from group one? Okay, all right, okay. Uh, okay, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Please introduce yourself. Okay, and... I'm, uh, yes, yes, I'm, uh, my name is Jesse Albo, and I'm the team lead for group one. So, uh, I will just uh, replace him. So the whole idea for this project for Guan was to build a lab simulator. So uh, in the, the uh, world pandemic, the issue it, it affected the educational sector, and uh, students going to the lab to perform experiments was quite challenging because of if you want to maintain social distancing and uh, we are passing to the lab, we are not actually maintaining the, uh, the that distance. So uh, the idea was to create uh, a chemistry lab where students get to see a visual representation of their lab in uh, in display in their home, in their comfort. So uh, we use uh, a chemistry lab as an example to, uh, yeah, to demonstrate this uh, project. Uh, okay, can you? Can you go? Okay, yeah, these are the same. Can you go to the next slide, please? Uh, this. So, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. No, go to the next slide. Okay, okay. Uh, now, some of the features that was used. Can you? Okay. No, no, go back to the features, the features. Okay. Uh, okay, the pictures, some of the pictures of the uh of the project was uh, okay. Hello. Yes, what what are you I saying? I can't hear you. Uh, okay, I said the two tip uh, some of the features was the two tip, and the two tip was to help uh then actually identify parameters. So you just get to uh, choose the parameters or different apparatus that you need to perform the experiment. So that was uh, one of the uh, features of the project. And you also have uh, a slate functionality that is, it, 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 it aids the student to go through the uh, experiment process. It, it gave it uh, a smooth process in carrying out the experiment. And also, there's an input. Uh, uh, to input controller to uh, aid also in performing the experiment to make uh, the experiment easy for uh, the student or uh, yeah or uh, anybody performing the experiment using the uh, for, uh yeah anybody performing the experiment and also there was a uh, a color the coloring for the project was meant to uh was not too bright was was uh choosing a way to uh, capture the audience. So we will we'll maintain the coloring for the uh yeah for the project. So please uh Bolo as you say, can you can you go to the next yeah to the next slide? Okay, yeah, just just like I explained, uh, the project was is actually aimed to bring uh the physical lab in a virtual world for uh everybody to be able to communicate with uh the lab even without uh, physically present in the lab. So yeah, that's the whole idea for the uh, for the lab simulator. So do have to say yeah the next slide. Okay. Uh, yeah, for the goals, for the goals of the uh lab uh, can you can you meet your mic? Uh, okay, yeah, because of the use 
also in the United States, we are more uh, policy work. Sometimes in the physical uh, lab, during the physical lab work in school, there are some uh, experiments or some chemicals that you want to use to uh, carry out the particular experiments you want to carry out. But these uh, chemicals or uh, apparatus are, are afraid that they are not uh, well equipped. So with, uh, with the lab simulator, it, it, it's on a perfect condition and you get a, a very close or accurate uh, result from your, yeah, from your experiment. So, it, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all the goals for the, uh, for the lab experiment. Blue uh, Architect is next slide. Okay, all right, so I uh, will give a brief, uh, we'll see the demo now. So can, you can play it, please. I think it's a video. No, 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 no you, you are supposed to play the video. It, you, you are Hello, bro. You are supposed to play the video. I think these, these are videos. You should be able to play them. Yes. Ah, I think you have, a, you have a play button now. Oh. Ah. Okay. Yeah, oh, could I just share my screen to... um? Um, demonstrate like to show yes, the project please demo. do. The video is not playing over this okay. end. I can the, the play button is not getting activated. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Please, please um, share your screen now, please. Can you all see my screen? Sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so the uh, first video is actually close. the rendered video. So it's more like... Yeah, we all right. Okay, okay. Yeah, this is, is more like the, the walkway to the lab. So uh, getting like a visual experience of you going towards the lab and and uh, you get to the lab i think this is set up okay yeah you get yeah this is set up and after this uh, okay, let's just wait for this to finish screen. Okay. 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 So this, this is really actual, uh, the actual, experiment, the actual uh, experiment that I start. So if you can see, you can see the, uh, the tip tip here. You get to select your uh, apparatus and the chemicals you uh, need for the experiment, and you get to uh, also choose. Uh, on the type of experiment.
Right. Okay. Yeah, that's that's the end for the uh team one uh project uh presentation. So yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks to everybody for listening. So in case there's any question, yeah. Okay, um, thank you so much for that. Um, um, I don't know, Kendra, DJ, do you have any comments on that? Uh, DJ, you have your hand raised. Do you have a question? Um, yes, I do. So, great work so far. Um, what ideas do you have for um, improving the product going forward? Like, what have you thought about, like, expanding to cover additional scenarios or experiments? Okay, so if you notice during the demo, um, the, the, the actual process of, okay, pouring the chemical into um, the beaker was not done. We, we just used... Um, okay, by we just use a process known as we collide two objects together, maybe the beaker and then the chemical, and then the, the beaker gets filled. But um, in the long run, we intend to make it more realistic so a student can actually um, pour, you know, you, you grab the object and then pour it into maybe the burette or the beaker and then perform experiments and also the interfaces. And then we, we also um, intend to make this a more general lab, not just about chemistry, okay, lab that um, you can go and then you have different sections. Okay, this is for chemistry, this is for um, physics, this is for maybe for biology, and then you can perform various simulations as as if you are you're going to do it in real time. So that's that's um, the ideas we have um, for the future. Yeah, great answer. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, um, Kendra, do you have any um, comments on the solution? Do you have any suggestions? Anything basically? Uh, no comments per se. I'm just curious, what are the challenges that you faced building this? Like, um, I know that a lot of you are just learning these tools as you're using them, but what are the, I'd like to know what are the things that you, what are the challenges you face building this so that um, going forward we know how to support you better? Okay, so um, for me, um, okay, I had the challenge of, um, you know, I had other activities I was doing, so, and then the mentorship was not really, um, would I say, too intense, that's for me. Then another challenge was not everybody was, um, had very good knowledge of um, how to build mixed reality um, solutions, so, so just a few people that were um, that actually worked on the project. So I guess that 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 was part of that was our challenge. Yeah. Not it. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, I also have to. Uh, I don't know. Uh, actually, if Patrick is on the call, and the semi, so uh, I think Atish and the semi, uh, most uh, mostly did most of the building. If they can comment on uh, the challenges during the process of uh, building the uh, the lab simulator, so Axis, I don't know if you are, if you are sorry if I can't pronounce your name very well, but if you're on the call, please can you omit omit yourself and uh, tell us some of uh, the challenges. And and the Obasek also, yeah, some of the okay. challenges of the project. All right. Can you, good morning, everyone. Or afternoon. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. One of the issues, some of the issues we had were dealing with interactions themselves. As you can see, we just had um, collisions between the objects to um, simulate the experiment itself. Um, one of the things we also had was, um, especially dealing with collisions. If you've noticed, you've that 
um, normal Unity, uh, normal simulations, you could have the objects directly on the table and then they would have normal collisions. But the moment you start interacting with them, then the collision starts to act up where they didn't know how to handle that. So the object just seems to slide through the solid surfaces themselves. So that's one of the issues we had. Another issue, one that issue that came up was fluid simulations. The fact that you had to pour the chemical from one beaker to the next or from one instrument to the next. We didn't know how to simulate that in a realistic way. So we just, oh, let's just go with interaction as it's, um, let's just go with interaction. Then again, working with gravity in the whole environment itself was quite challenging because there are some interactions you would want to have like um, floating down a particular plane or just having resonance between objects. So those were some of the issues we had. Unity was very, very, let me see, Unity was easy to use because Unity works in the component story, just take one object, take the next and you just join them together and you have behaviors interacting with each other. But some components did not really go well, like we didn't know how to put some things together, directly together. So those were some of the issues we had. Mm, any other question? No, that was super useful. Thank you. All right. Um, thank you so much, Group One, and amazing solution. Um, so for moving on, if there's no other thing for Group Two, um, we have um. Goodness Olawari as the team lead for Group 2 um, with members um, Farida, Abimbola, Ido, um, Emmanuel, and so um, Group 2 solution is also under the education sector. And um, funny enough, um, all three solutions for today are under the education sector. Um, but for the boot camp, we had, I think, four sectors education, health, lifestyle, and um, health. So funny enough, all the groups decided to go with education. So um, group two solution is, um, they called it the Brain MR. Um, so basically, it's an educational solution that helps um, students learn about the brain, the parts of the brain, the functions of the brain, and all that. So um, I think their team lead is on the call, goodness, he should be able to explain the solution better. So, um, goodness, if you are here, please walk us through your solution, how you achieved it, the features, um, your challenges, and all that. Let's hear from you. Yes, thank you very much, um, Istro. Um, so, I firstly want to thank um, the, the team from Microsoft for giving us this kind of privilege. And um, I'll just jump straight into our a solution so uh, we live in a country or we, we we are in an environment where um where secondary schools lack some kind of equipment that basically reduces um the quality of education they give out a large percentage of schools mostly secondary schools in nigeria they are not really equipped with um the necessary materials that they need to 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 engage in practical classes especially for science students it could be due to the the high cost of purchase or those equipment might actually not be available around um around them so we have worked on um brain mr brain mr is a mixed reality hub that allows students to virtually learn and um, interact with the human brain as as though it is real so Basically, what Brain MR um, does is um, it enables students. So we, we we try to focus on a particular session section of um, from a particular subject, and that subject is biology. You see, that biology is a general subject that um, that that is learned in all second all senior secondary schools in Nigeria. So biology basically deals with organisms, with humans, with um, our environment and all. So we decide to go deep down into and focus on one part for this particular um, boot camp, and that is the brain. So the brain hem her enhances learning about the conventional classroom theories, and then it helps students, it presents them with the practical knowledge of um, what is being learned in school. 
so they get to um, interact with the brain and um, yes, they get to do all of those. So I'll, I'll just, um, I'll, so we have worked with, um, I have a very awesome um, guys, I have very awesome guys in my team that they've worked all together to um, to make this project a reality. And I'm going to hand over to um, Abim, but I was going to be in charge of the presentation and um, AB, over to you. Okay, good everyone. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear yes, you. yes, you're loud and clear. All right. Okay. And can you see my screen? Yes, clearly. All right. Yeah, we can see so, your screen. Um, I'm Abimbala Pukwala. Um, I'll be giving this presentation for Group 2 on Brain MR. So meet the team members, myself, Faidat, Favor, Ido, our lead goodness, who just gave the introduction, uh, our mentor, Basit. So as goodness has already explained, we decided to take on Brain MR to tackle a particular challenge we faced in the um, education sector, particularly across Nigeria. We noticed that most schools don't have the necessary resources needed to give the students a very engaging and interactive learning. Um, usually they, they get to learn verbally and sometimes through charts and textbooks, so especially their biology, So, which is why we decided to take on uh, Brain MR to develop a platform for them that will uh, that's going to tackle this problem. So the current learning methods uh, can be very tedious for the students um, because due to the lack of these necessary resources, or uh, students sometimes are not very interested in learning. They don't find it fun and thereby they are a bit disengaged from the learning process. So the aim of Brain Hammer is to create a mixed reality platform for students to learn interactively and be engaged in their learning. So, and also a platform that they can learn both in and out of the classroom. And the another great thing about this app is that it fits very nicely in the in the post-COVID world, in that students can learn anywhere they choose to, in the comforts of their own home or anywhere they find themselves. But the tools we use in the development of this uh, application is the Unity, the MRTK, and Visual Studio. So this is a flowchart that shows how the application works. So once the student starts the application, they will be shown a main menu from which they can choose to learn or to take a test. So when the student clicks the Learn button, They'll be taken to an environment where they get to see the 3D model of the brain. So they get to interact with these, the old brain and the various parts. So as they interact with it, click on the various parts, the functions get to be displayed and the name of those parts. So they get to learn about those things that way. And on completing the learning part, they can go back to the main menu and take the quiz. So the quiz will test their knowledge on what they've learned. So they, ask, they will answer a series of questions after which their scores will be displayed. So from there, they can end the program or choose to continue learning. So this is a brief infographic that shows the learning, learning and quiz process. So we'll see more of the detail in the demo that will come up shortly. So in the learning phase, you can see the, here is a um, screenshot from the application that shows the 3D model of the brain. So based on what the user has selected, the part of the brain they've selected, they get to see the function of that part and the name also. While in the quiz phase, 
then you can see also a screenshot from the app showing the instructor and the question and options available for the user to click through and select so after which their scores will be displayed and they know how well they've performed. So on to the demo. So that is all. Thank you very much for viewing this. Um, it was a great learning experience. We thank you, Microsoft and the Microsoft Learn Students Ambassadors. Um, yeah, thank you, Abimbola, for um, that presentation. So um, for, for just a very quick information, Okay, I think. Okay, okay, okay sorry. Uh, sorry, I was muted. Sorry. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so um, thank you very much. So, we also um, worked on a very um, insightful documentation into how the project works and then some break breakdowns into the lessons and everything on the project. And um, the link to the documentation is um, is on every page of the slide so you can also check them out so um we will be glad to answer any questions about the projects if there are any thank you um quick question is there a place i could go to download and try out the solution for myself Okay, so um, currently there's not a place for that yet. We haven't um, implemented it into an application yet. So for the purpose of this bootcamp, we we have our models and um, everything working, and um, the link to the project has been uploaded on um, on 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 a GitHub account. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, for now we don't have a project working. We don't have the Android version working or the application rather. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, so I think we can just go with some of the earlier questions where you share some of the challenges you faced building this solution. Um, I think we'd love to hear that. Okay, um, well. <laughs> The, the the first challenge i would say um is actually a general challenge so for my team members 
Okay, starting from me, the funny thing is that the bootcamp started the same week my exam started. <laughs> so it was really tough for me. It was quite tough. Okay. But then um, I have very awesome teammates. They started the work and um, they 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 were able to get themselves to, themselves together and then um, work together. Then the the another problem, another challenge that we faced also is um electricity. So there had to be a time. Okay, so basically for this project, I worked as a product manager. So I was in charge of um um so so we do daily stand stand ups. Sometimes it's not daily. It's like two two days is two two days or daily sometimes like that. So for me sometimes i'll drop a message nobody will respond whenever i call they say there's there's no light and stuff like that so electricity was a very was a major um challenge that we had there was there was even a time that um we had to, so so there's this session we call sprint session that we hold 9 p.m every day so there was this day we were supposed to hold a call to for the progress of the of the um of the of the of the project then when it when it was nine o'clock, I started calling. Nobody picked the people I called. They did not pick. Somebody that that I, that our phone rang. She did not pick. Others their phone did not go through. So it was later they said all of them just gave the same excuse like that that there was no. So basically, inter uh, electricity was a general issue. But then as far as far the development of the project, um, I think. It would actually be nice for let me bring a member of the team on board. I don't want to be the only one talking. So Fai, that would you want to share your experience on um, the project? Share the call. Okay. Yeah. Great. Can you speak? Can you speak? Can you? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay. So, well, the major challenge is, as good as I said, is lights. We had light issues, like during the period we. Every, almost everybody, like we we can't get access to la electricity, and that was like one of the biggest drawback. And also, we had troubles implementing one of the functions, but later we we were able to figure it out. So those are just the two challenges we had. Okay, awesome. Pointing so to I think one that... of the functions, right? Okay. Up. Sorry, yeah. sorry, um, goodness. I was just curious, when you say one of the functions, Saida, are you speaking of um, a problem with a tool or with like wh what functions are you re referring to? Specifically? The two spanner. spawner. Oh, okay. Okay, so that was the uh, function that we had issues with. So for it to like uh, spawn all the um, label on the brain, the 3D model, it wasn't like um, displaying the way we wanted it to display, but we were able to figure it out. Got it, thanks. Okay. Um, okay, can I mention some... Fever, please go on. All right. Um, I think one of the challenges, like Fahid has said, about um, implementing this function was that, um, okay, the mentor we had, I think he mostly uses Unreal, and we're working with Unity and it, but getting to translate these issues was kind of a hitch. So that was something. Did you guys get that? Yes, 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 we did. Yes, we did. Yes. All right. All right. 
Okay, awesome. So I think that that basically is going to be all from the team. Um, so I really want to thank every member of the team for immensely contributing. Everybody had one or two things they worked on during the project, and um, it's really been nice working with everybody. Thank you very much. That's the end of. Oh, there's there's an and. But you could, I just wanted to let you know your camera is on. I see your hand is up, um, so you can speak. Um, hi, Ugochuku. You have your hands raised and your camera is on. Do you want to tell us something? Okay. Um, amazing if you're solution. Speaking, Ugochuku, you're muted. Go on, Israel. It looks like he has dropped off. Okay, so um, I said amazing solution from Group Two. Um, really, really insightful. Um, and the challenges also. I think it's um something that's really valid right now. Okay, so um, without wasting more time, um, I think we'll just move to Group Three. So, like I said earlier, Group 3's solution also fell into the education sector. So, what Group 3 worked on was a little bit similar to that of Group 2, but with a major focus on geography and chemistry, I think. So, it's a, a, a learning and e-learning application, um, mixed reality e-learning application. So um, for group two, I will call on the team lead, um, Goodness Ojiaga. I think he's on the call to um, walk us through the solution, the features, um, challenges they faced, and how they were able to come up with this. Um, so yeah, Goodness, over to you. All right, thank you very much, Israel. I believe I'm already way enough. So, um, Initially, we group three, we came up with an idea to build a pregnancy application to assist pregnant women um, during delivery in case of an emergency. So that was what we have been working on from um, yeah from the onset. But eventually, we could not continue with it because um, there were some challenges we faced as regards to making the um, project realistic. So it was at the 11th hour, that was yesterday, we had to change plans and we came up with this um, with this um, application. So to cut a long story short, so what we are presenting today is a STEM application, a STEM and full mean science, technology, engineering and mathematics. So it's a STEM application that makes learning process um, seamless and easier, fun, and interactive. But unfortunately, the team could not cover all the old subjects, so um, they only um, focused on chemistry and geography. So I will open the floor for the one of the team to speak, to go through how they came up with the idea. So Malik, um, over to you. Hi, um, good afternoon, everyone. Please, um, I hope you guys can hear me. We can hear you, Mali. Um, uh, good. Okay. Uh, uh, just like um, Goodness said, uh, we are working on um, something else before, but it's, it began to seemingly um, only. Uh, Hello, can you hear me now? Okay, yes, we can hear you. Uh -huh. So, um, just like goodness said, we had the plan for a full STEM app, 
to create content on biology, physics, chemistry, and geography. But definitely for a step up for subjects like that, you cannot cover the whole syllabus concerning each subject. You just have to pick an aspect of the subject and go ahead. Um, so for geography aspect, we pick the aspect of um, planetary bodies, whereby we have um, series of a, a solar system with um, planets revolving around and revolving around the sun and once these are gaze on each planet basic information relating to the planet comes up so that was that for the um, chemistry aspect we could implement what exactly we had in mind we, we came up with something similar so the idea was to teach chemical compounds um for example which was the one we use um water which is h2 um, so it's it's more like a squeeze up whereby um, the um, um, the pop up or the question comes up like um, when hydrogen and oxygen combines together, what does it give you? So the user just picks up a three D molecule of hydrogen and oxygen, and once um, the two collides, um, the three D model of water comes up. The initial the plan exactly was to have a an animation, animated water whereby once the um, once the three, the three D model of hydrogen and oxygen collides together, the water actually pours on the floor, like on the real in re, in real reality in reality. So that was the idea. But we just have to make do with what we have at the moment. So we came up with this. So thank you guys. I, I'm sorry I can't see the slides. Is, is it just me? It's not presenting slides. <laughs> You have to share your slides yourself. Oh, okay. Um, let me get it right away. Okay. Um, let me share my screen. Can you ask my screen? Yeah, we can see. Yeah, we can. Okay, yeah. So, um, yeah, the name of our app, um, call it STEM ML, which is Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics, Mixed Reality. So that was the concept behind it. Um, then these are my team members. Uh, we initially were meant to be five, but only two showed up. That was I myself, Abdul Malik by the left hand side, and Abdul Aziz by the other right hand side, other right hand. So then it was later on we had Iman and included in the second week. So that was one of the things that slowed us down. Um, that's by the way. Then um, the aim, like I, like um, goodness said was to provide a solution to make it possible for um, students, second, second students, two students to understand um, STEM subjects, to have more interactive content on STEM rather than the current way it's been taught like 2D and the likes. So that was the main, object, main aim. Then um, the objectives, like, like Gudna said, we only were only able to come up with something for geography and chemistry. So this was, this was the way we um, did it. Um, the geography aspect we had to well, we couldn't model all the um on the 3D models we needed. We had to look for some other ones online, but the easier easier ones we did it ourselves on actually using Unity. If we had to do it with using Unity, those were whereby we just use spheres and add materials to it, and that was it. Then we animated each um each um planet to so it can rotate on its own. We first, then later on, we added a script, a CSS script to make it revolve around this sun. So that was that. Then other, we, you know, we had to use the voice and the gaze interaction input from memory to get to make it all work. Same as the chemistry um, compound um, concept, uh, we couldn't, like I said, we couldn't, we couldn't do what exactly what we wanted to do, but we had to make something work. And yeah, this is it. Um, modeled the Compounds and the compounds, the hydrogen and oxygen, but the for the water as we had to get it online also. Then you know, use the citrus crew to do the magic and there it is. Uh, we have 
Then for the next level, these are the tools we made use of the Unity, the Mixer, these two kits, Visual Studio, obviously, and all the emulator. Okay, um, let me play the video real quick. So, this is for the geography aspect. Enjoy. So yeah, that's that's then so like I said, we're not able to implement exactly what we wanted for the chemistry part, but this is what we'll come up with just for demo presentation. So basically the question comes up, then after you pick the hydrogen and oxygen molecule, it's, it turns into water. The initial concept was to make it actually pour on the floor. So I uh, invited water to just pour on the floor and to look much more interactive and real. So that was it for that. All right. Thank you very much, Malik, hey, for um, the presentation. So, uh, let me, yeah. So yeah. Um, the challenges we faced, first of all, we um, do not have enough resources, like our council concerned personnel. So we're just still on the team. Um, we're all newbies into the um, ML space and even Unity, so we had to you know just get something doing, and that was it. Then also uh, um, challenge the um, you know, like um, goodness said earlier before, we came up with the idea late, so that's one reason why we couldn't finish in time, but we still got something good working. So that was that, was that for. Um, the for, for that aspect, then also um, 3D models um, to get some of the 3D models for the planets, basic exact especially some the complex ones like the Saturn and the Uranus and something like that. So those ones were taxing to get online. So well, we actually got them, and I was glad. I'm glad we were able to do so. So thank you very much, and really appreciate the organizers and everyone listening right now. It's, it was fun going through this and boot camp and we hope for more collaboration in the future. Thank you all. All right. Thank you, Malik, for that presentation. So I believe he has covered everything and there's nothing much to say. Um, so that is what we were able to come up with uh, at the 11th hour. So well, I'm proud of my team, proud of my team, because it was not easy to come up with this, uh, to have a change of plan at that short notice. Everybody contributed what they could do to the best of their abilities. And then, um, of course, we had them um, short, um, we were short in terms of um, team uh, members, but nevertheless, uh, they gave it all, the, um, all their best and they came up with it. So I'm proud of them. And um, yeah, that's what I can say about that. So thank you very much, uh, everyone who have made this a wonderful experience. um thank you so much guys um that was wonderful um kendra dj anyone do you have any questions for them any comments um, um yeah not so much uh well actually kind of a question i think you're absolutely right um when you say that this is pretty amazing especially for something that you did really last minute yesterday that's actually pretty impressive. But I am curious though, can you tell us a little bit about the um, solution you were working on before this? 
just just out of curiosity all right um <laughs> the idea was to it was concerning it was on the health category so the idea was to help pregnant women in um maybe doing their if they have, if they have challenge, maybe they have challenges getting to the hospital in time for labor so doing emergency cases the idea was to have something like um they can start they can start to the live doctor on scene wherever they are with the device with the headset and he will be putting the woman or whoever is with her to so the challenges we, why we couldn't go on with our police was because but one like i said short of personnel so we had to it was not looking feasible one that's first of all then secondly um after speaking with some professionals in the medical line um they had issues being issues concerning the app if it was even if it was going to be feasible and done like and the real thing was done um the issues concerning it like there are a lot of things that happens during pre labor and there's no how there won't be the need for a professional medical practitioner on stage at that moment so there are various various concerns and you no know, to avoid <laughs> um doing something that wouldn't look like a solution so we have to switch plans and come up with this i see that's interesting i think that you were on to something with that i would completely understand the reservations of the health professionals but i also think that um if you think about it differently and say so imagine hospitals in um more rural areas that they have professionals right but they are not always there are certain complications that can happen in childbirth that they are not prepared for um mm -hmm. and it will be useful to have somebody a, a, an expert that is in a different town to be able to like reach out to them and just guide them through the process i think that there's still like that kind of scenario that could work um but yeah i i totally get your your reservation so and, and why you needed to pivot um my other question and you already talked about the challenges that you had right and but the thing is that a lot of this i guess the romanticized idea behind this boot camp was that we would be able to take um students like you that are coming to make charity for the absolute first time and to um and and after a few weeks you can actually present um something built in mixed reality. So even if you say your team, um, you guys were a new at mixed reality, a new to Unity, I think that's the fact that you were able to do not just one, but two solutions technically um, is pretty impressive and you should be really proud of yourselves for that. Yeah, thanks for the kind words. We really appreciate it. Um, okay. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for this. Um, um, first of all, I'd like to say I'm really proud of all the participants um, for their contributions to this. Um, they actually exceeded my expectation. So yeah, I'm really proud of each and every one of you. And I would like to say a very big thank you to um, our mentors uh, who were there throughout um, for us. Um, Adora, Basit, Antonia, Kennedy. I want to say a big thank you to every one of you. And um, a very, very, very special shout out to Kendra Nachi. This would not have been possible without her. So I want to say a very big thank you to her. Um, so we've come to the end of this showcase. So we are going to have um, Omar come and talk to us about the origin of this boot camp, how it came about, how it went the methods and ways we were able to organize this and keep it um, flowing for these past four weeks. So um, Omar, over to you. OK, hi. Anyways, um, I'm really, really out by what everyone has presented. The past few weeks have been really tough. So. The original plan was to get 25 um, participants to participate in this boot camp. So we got 25 people, but some had to drop due to other um, engagement and some couldn't just cope. Then, um, so we're left with 16 participants and 14 organizers. I'm very grateful to them because without everyone's effort, I don't think today would have been made possible. And I'm also grateful to our sponsors from Microsoft and Kendra. 
and every other person who has helped us come this far. So the idea of the boot camp is to train people who are not limited to our MR, our MR and XR, I don't think I'm right, <laughs> communities. So we just wanted to train people in mixed reality and just see if we can come up with projects that actually like solutions to issues using mixed reality. And yeah, that's just it for the boot camp. And I think, yeah, I think that's all for it. So that's all for my end. Thank you, Israel. Yeah. Um, thank you, Uma, um, for that. Um, so um, I'll be handing over to our moderators um, to carry on with the rest of this. Um, thank you so much for having me. All right, thank you very much, everybody. I'm still in awe with everything. I just so like, I'm really, really, really happy. And it's everything I saw was really cool. I appreciate everybody that attended this call, everybody that made this program a success. Thank you everyone for joining. And well, this is not the end to mixed reality. Our guest in the house, our participant this is not the end to mixed reality you can still follow up the mix in the mixed reality community community and do some other things do some other projects in mixed reality and i know the sky is your limit because you you made you you came up with something incredible within a few few weeks that's that's really that's really good so i think the showcase is has come to an end I appreciate everyone. Thank you very much, our organizers, Microsoft, the organizers, the participants, because without you, we wouldn't we would not have this showcase today. So everybody, you contributed something. Thank you very much. I'm really grateful. So I think we've come to the end of the program. Thank you again. Um, I just want to say something. So okay. everyone that participated will get swagged and certificates. Just a way of saying thank you for your efforts. Yeah, and um, can everybody hear me? Yes. Yeah, I hear you, Jaffley. Go on. OK, great. So just a few, before we go, just a few highlights on how we're able to pull all of this up. A um, few highlights on the structure of how we ran this. So it, it was meant to be a two weeks boot camp starting February 25th and was supposed to end early April. Um, well, it started February 25th to have the onboarding ceremony. But then we realized that two weeks was not just enough time for us to run this boot camp and participants were not finished with their project. So we had to add two weeks more to it which left us with 27th of April, of March, sorry, as the final um, date. Um, so for, to make this possible, we had 14 um, student ambassadors from Nigeria working on this, as Omar had mentioned. We had to divide the whole team into two, non-technical team and the technical team. Um, all of these student ambassadors, amazing student ambassadors, worked on this project um credits to all of them credits to all of them so I, I, i'll share my screen so you can see all of the amazing people who worked on this project but apart from that too we had to get mentors we had to assign mentors to each team um, and these mentors more of put these participants through on how they could come up with their projects you know right from the beginning and um, thanks to DJ Obundikwe and sorry if I didn't pronounce his own name well, and um, who, who at the beginning came to have a mentorship mentorship session with us, where he took participants through um, on how they could you know install the softwares they need and build their solutions, and then to the amazing mentors who um, took their time from work, you know. They were always with the teams, making sure they were able to come up with amazing solutions. They made all of this possible. Most importantly, to the team at Microsoft, Kendra, who um, worked behind the scenes to make sure it went well. Um, we, we also had to 
give participants data because it was key for them to work properly with this. They needed to, you know, have data to work on their solutions and um, do do the amazing things they needed to do. So I believe everybody can see my screen, right? Yes, we can. So these are the amazing fellows who were part of the organizing team. We have goodness. Lowry, he was the team, one of the team leads. He had Abiola Farumbi, Israel Ulelu, Mohammed Abdukadi, Divine Chukudi, Boluati Fel Kondayo, who is one of our hosts, and um, Goodness Ojaga, Chioman Boma, the lead for the non technical team. Um, Israel was the lead for the technical team. Then we had Destiny, who was also a team lead, um, myself, Jafflet, one more. Princess, who worked with the non-technical team, Olumide was a member of the non-technical team, and Damilola, who worked on this project. So these are the names of the amazing organizers, the amazing fellows who put in their time, their efforts, even though they had exams, even though they had other school work to get done, they decided to, you know, their energy um, into all of this. Um, so there are other opportunities I've mentioned um, Omar mentioned um, participants getting SWAT kits, which will be sending over, um, we will get over to them via mail. And then um, for, for other opportunities, we'll be getting who, 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 who need to build their skills more, you know, learn more about mixed reality, you know, build more amazing solutions about uh, mixed reality and get to change the world, with, change some of the problems so for some of the problems affecting the world with mixed reality. So thank you very much, everybody. Um, that's what I just wanted to mention, Israel. And um, Tife. All right. Um, thank you so much, Jack. Uh, Kendra, would you like to say one or two words before we Go. Okay, I think Princess has her hands raised. Princess, would you like to? Okay, I just want to quickly mention, I know that everybody's aware that we have an MRXR community, which myself and Israel, we are running. So we just want to take everything that we have done back into the community, share ideas. And if you are not on the community group, you can just signify and we can add you to the group so that we can continue learning. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Princess, for that. Um, so if you are not there, you can. I just dropped a link on your group now. I'll drop another one on the chat here, so you can just click on it to join us, um, share ideas, and help each other grow um, in mixed reality. So um, Kendra, would you like to say one or two things before we leave? Uh, not a lot. Just thank you, everybody, for participating, for making time. I know this was rough. Um, it was a lot of work, especially with exams and everything. But you still, you know, made time and you did the work, and that is really cool. Um, like Princess said, please, please, please join the XR community. We have AMA sessions. We have other things coming up that you can use to learn and grow further from the progress that you have made so far. Um, and I'd love to see you some other time. Thank you to the MLSA team again. You guys are absolutely amazing. Let's do more good stuff together. OK, um, thank you so much, Kendra, for everything. And um, thank you so much, DJ, for um, taking our time for us and helping us out with this. And um, thank you so much, everyone, for um, being here. Thank you so much to everyone that was part of this um, we made it happen. This is all us. So um, I would like to say a big thank you to every one of us. So um, with that, we have come to the end of the Mixed Reality Bootcamp 2021. Um, hopefully, um, I'm very hopeful that we should be able to do something more um, in the future. Maybe we could do something for 2022 or even 2021, something bigger, something better and achieve more. So. Um, Thank you so much for um, your contribution to this. Um, we are really grateful. Um, have a nice day, everyone.
Awesome. Bye, everyone. Goodbye, bye. everyone. Thank you, everybody. Bye. And bye. Bye. <laughs>